I'm going to show you how to set up parallel compression in Logic Pro. It's super simple, super easy, and it's a great effective technique to get pro mixes. So let's get into it. Yo, what's good guys? In Swain with In Swain Audio. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and stick around because we drop videos here every single day. You're not going to want to miss out. All right, let's get into this tutorial. So just so you know, this works for parallel compression, but it also works for any type of parallel processing. You would do it the same way. I just know parallel compression is the most common, but if you wanted to do parallel saturation or really anything parallel, the same theory applies. The reason you might use parallel compression is because instead of traditional compression right on the track, which is gonna affect the dry signal, you can set up a parallel send so that you have essentially a duplicate of the original dry track and you can process that and then blend it in with the dry track to taste. So in terms of compression, you could leave your transients on the dry track unaffected and then and, you know process this parallel track and blend it into taste so you can get kind of like have your cake and eat it too so to speak anyways let's get into it so here we got our lead vocal which i'm going to work but this you could do this on your drums anything you want it's all the same so over here is where you would add your inserts your plugins on the track directly but down below it is where you create a send and that's what we're going to be doing so you click on this you go to your buses and you choose an empty bus so you can choose any one i just choose the first available one which in our case right here is bus three now you can see we have bus three and we have this. If you click and drag up or down, it's like a fader or actually cool little fun trick. If you hold option and click it, it automatically puts it to 0, 0.0. So I'm going to leave it there for now. And then over here, we have our bus three, which is what this is being sent to. Or if you press X and pull up the mixer, you can see bus three. You could do it from here if you want. So essentially now we have another channel to add plugins to instead of directly on this dry track over here we can do it to our send. So what I'll do is I'll choose a compressor because we're going to do parallel compression. And I'm not going to go into a deep dive of, you know, what settings you should use, but let's just dial in some parallel compression. All those lands turning into desert in between the poles. How could we for God's sake still dare to deny? All those lands turning into desert in between the poles. How could we Okay, so there's our parallel compression. That's essentially it, but I'm gonna give you some more nuances. So now we have our fader here where we can choose how much we're sending to the signal. So we're getting about 10 to 20 decibels of gain reduction, but watch what happens if let's say afterwards, I wanna turn the vocal down and I turn the fader down. Watch how much compression we get as I turn the fader down. All those things. So I'm turning the vocal down, yeah, but it's also changing how much is being sent to this and changing the amount of compression we're getting in our parallel compression. But you know, you probably don't wanna change two things at once. So cool little trick, if you right click on this and choose pre-fader, this is gonna change the send to be pre-fader. So that means the amount of processing it gets happens before the fader. So anything you do to the fader is after this and won't affect it. So now watch what happens as we turn down the lead vocal. All those lands You can see no matter how much I turn it down, even at negative infinity, we're getting the same amount of compression in our parallel compression. So if you're gonna be planning on changing the fader at all of your, whatever it is you're parallel compressing, in this case, our vocal, you might wanna change this to pre-fader. But if you leave it at post pan, just keep in mind that adjusting the volume or the fader will affect how much parallel compression you're getting. Another cool trick that you can do is if you right click it here, you can hit sends on faders. And what this is going to do is changes it to gold is it puts your sends with a fader. So we have this gold fader. So instead of clicking and dragging this, we have a fader we can click and drag, which you might like more visually or, you know, the feel of it. So that's a nice little trick you can do. So between those different settings, you can kind of fine tune how you set up your parallel compression. But other than that, it's really simple and easy to do and you don't need to overcomplicate it. So there you have it, guys. There is how you do parallel compression or really any parallel processing in Logic Pro. Super easy. It's a beginner move, but you're gonna get professional results. So let me know down in the comments below if you like this. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. In Swain within Swain Audio. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.